The nomadic tribes of people who first settled in Trinidad were people who came from the South American mainland through the Orinoco Delta to explore the archipelago of Caribbean islands of which Trinidad is one. They settled in various parts of Trinidad and they are the following. The Banwari, the Meso, and the Shebato, the Nopoto, Yayo, and Nepoyo, the Kari Nepogato, Yanomami, and Wario, the Arawak, Lokono, Kalinas, and Shogwanis. Collectively, these people are called the Tainos or Amerindians or First Nations people. They grew cassava, tobacco, corn or maize, peppers and beans, cocoa and coffee anywhere they settled. And they had little villages and they would move around the island creating villages wherever they went. Some of the names of the regions of Trinidad still carry the names that they gave them. A few are Piaco, Mucarapo, Maraval, Kirep, Oropuch, Nariva, Tunapuna, Kumana, Kumaka, Meyaro, Kova, and Arima. They call this island Trinidad Airi, meaning the land of the hummingbird. The casket of a fish found in the rivers of Trinidad was a favorite in the Amerindian diet. Here we have the poem by Alistair Macmillan, Airi, the land of the hummingbird. Those who eat the cascadura will, the native legend says, wheresoever they may wander, and in Trinidad there is, and this lovely fragrant island with its forest hills sublime might well be the smiling Eden pictured in the book divine. Cocoa woods with scarlet glory of the stately immortals, waterfalls and fertile valleys, precipices, fairy dells, rills and rivers, green savannas, fruits and flowers and odors rich, waving sugarcane plantations and the wondrous lake of pitch. Oh, the bocas at the daybreak, how can one describe that scene? Or the little emerald islands with the sapphire sea between? Matchless country of Ayuri, fairer none could ever wish. Can you wonder of the legend of the cascadura fish?